Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Knocking out another baseball break here. 2021 Topps Series 1 Jumbo. Six box random team break number one. No vet commons ship. Everything else does. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. I know it's been marinating on the site for a little bit, but I appreciate everybody's patience on this one. Thank you. All 30 teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Five and a four, nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Uh, Matthew down to Justin. And then five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, Five and a four, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got the ATL down to the Metropolitans. All right, there's the first half of the list right there. And there's the second half of the list right over there. And let's alphabetize by team right there. So Nestor, you got the Diamondbacks, Matthew with the uh, Braves, Cassandra with the Orioles, Eric, Red Sox, Cubs, Michael, White Sox, Matthew, Red, Justin with the Guardians. Chris with the Rockies, Nestor with the Tigers, Junior with the Astros, Nestor with the Royals, Matthew with the Angels, Eric with my Dodgers, Josh with the Marlins, Ryan with the Brewers, Matthew with the Twins, Justin with the Mets, Michael with the Yankees, Sanford with the A's, Josh with the Phillies, Eric with the Pirates, Josh last bought Mojo Padres, Shea with the Giants, Eric with the Mariners, Chris with the uh, Cardinals, Stephen K with the Rays, Joe with the Rangers, Chris, or Joe with the Rangers, Kevin with the Blue Jays, and Eric with the Nationals. So trade window is open. We're going to pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals are done here on a Monday, July 1st. It's the first of the month. 2021 Series 1 Jumbo Six Box Random Team Break Number 1. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Josh with Last Pod Mojo gets the Padres, and there's everybody else. Thanks everyone for making it happen. Nice little uh, rally here around this one. So 2021, top series one baseball, jumbo edition. This is it. Uh, I double, I'll double check again. I'll triple check, but I don't think I saw any more 2021 to post. So none to repost for now. There you go. We got one autograph and two relic cards in every hobby jumbo box. Good luck, everybody. Box topper. Silver packs. And let's roll. Uh, yeah, that's Juan Toto, right? 
There he is. 2021. Yeah, it's kind of weird to think that Juan Toto's been on, what, three different teams in the last few years. He signed with the Nationals in 2022. Or he was, he was uh, traded to the uh, Padres in 2022. I think he had an arbitration. Yeah, it does seem ages ago. But it was only August of 2022, National Trade, Soto, and Josh Bell to San Diego. That was that giant C.J. Abrams, Mackenzie Gore, Robert Hassel, James Wood, Harlan, Susana, and Luke Voigt deal, right? And it's kind of crazy because C.J. Abrams, Mackenzie Gore, and James Wood all made the start today. I think the Padres, and the Padres don't have Juan Soto anymore. Then played, you know, then played, uh, the 2023, a full 2023 season with the Padres. And then in December, after the off season 2023, he was traded to the Yankees. That, that's that. All right, so vet commons don't ship. So cards like this will not ship, All right? I think those are considered, would be considered inserts. Those will ship, you get it. Obviously, that will ship. That gold foil will ship. And this will ship. Bobby Dalbeck, rookie relic. Spring training relic. It's a commemorative cat patch logo. It's going to be for Boston. It's going to be for Eric. But yeah, it does seem ages ago, doesn't it? We'll do an autograph recap in the end. That's a plate right there, ladies and gentlemen. A train whistle coming up. I wonder if that's going to be autographed. And obviously, all rookie cards will ship too. Just no vet comments. And this is going to be a nice one. That is Fernando Tatis Jr. Magenta printing plate going to Josh and the Padres last spot mojo. I was hoping it'd be autographed, but still cool. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I recall this season, this year of being a little annoying because like the, the print is kind of small, so when you're kind of flashing through the cards, it's harder to spot the names, but. There's a through the years, Cal Ripken Jr. There comes the autograph, and it is Dalton Varsho, rookie auto for the Diamondbacks. That's going to be for Nesser. Yeah, the font is pretty tiny. Like the old days, look how big the, it's like, bam, Diamondbacks, man. You know, that's part of that old, old Topps design.
I guess credit to the Padres for for pulling the ripcord on Juan Soto as quickly as they did. You know, I suppose I suppose they had to get something back. Because Soto will test free agency in the offseason. So we'll see after the dust settles, you know. You know, let, let, let's see what happens. And here's an out of 70, Matt Chapman. He's back in the Bay Area with the Giants. This is going to go to Sanford and the A's. So you can kind of hear the highlights in the background of the of that Mets Nationals games, but like yeah, like I like I said, you know the Padres traded away, gave the Nationals C.J. Abrams, who's starting today and playing pretty well. Mackenzie Gore, who made the start today as a pitcher, had a good day, seven or eight strikeouts. Robert Hass is still in Double A. James Wood just got called up, got a hit today. So who they got back from Soto and. Trent Grisham to the Yankees. They got Michael King, Drew Thorpe, Johnny Brito, Randy Vasquez, and Kyle Higashioka. So we'll see how those players match up with the, uh, how they match up with their Nationals counterpart. And we got Jesus Lazardo. It's kind of hard to tell, but that's more of a navy blue border right there. That'll, that'll ship, but it's not uh, not numbered. I think we got everything. We got all the hits, right? One autograph, two relics. Yeah, we got the one. No, one autograph, one relic, and then the plate. So we should be looking for another relic somewhere. Will Smith, Steven Strasburg. And there's the other Wellick, Relic, <laughs> Wellick, the Walker Bueller Wellick, or Relic. Got ahead of myself there. It's for Eric Houston and my Dodgers player war memorabilia. I think he's on the IL again. Just trying to figure some things out post uh, Tommy John surgery. I want to say the the velocity is there, right? The stuff is still there, but I think he's just kind of the accuracy is not there. He's missing some spots, walking some guys, leaving some pitches in the zone, kind of thing. So he's got to work through that. There's the Odi Tavares to 2021 for the Rangers. That will be for Joe. Well, printing plate autos are a possibility, I'm pretty sure, so. so maybe, maybe we're getting close to one. Cards backwards, I think. I 
And that is Trevor Story. All right, it's just numbered. That's a 44 out of 99. Rockies, that's going to be for Chris B with the Rocks. Box topper is going to be Jacob DeGrom. Nice, that's Mets edition. That's going to go to Justin. And Doyle two home runs. What's this? what is this? Oh, I remember these. That's right. Remember these? These. <laughs> these. These patches. It's like almost like those patches you can iron on a jacket. There's Johnny Bench for the Reds. Forgot about these. Going to go into a top loader here. And yeah, maybe a 73. I wonder, I, I don't know if it has like the, you know, the, the coating or the layer where you can actually, you could sew it onto a jacket. Once you get like an old denim jacket and sew a bunch of these things on them. That'd be kind of funny. It's, it's uh, Jake Arietta for the Phillies to 300. That's going to go to Josh. You've never seen it? Or, yeah, I remember when we ripped a lot of these back in 20, 2021, we would get a lot of those. And Teddy and I would joke about how we were going to make a, a jacket out of it, collect enough of those. It's Matthew and the Reds will get that. Let's say through the years, that's facsimile, obviously. Rookie in that gold foil. Now, 
And here comes the auto. Here's uh, Orlando Arcia, 22 out of 2021. 20, for the Brew Crew, it's going to be for Ryan. And your autograph is going to be Dean Kramer. Good, good lettuce behind uh, under that hat there. Dean Kramer, Orioles auto going to Cassandra. Whose autos do you have there, sorry? Dean Kramer? I think he's supposed to be a pretty decent pitcher, isn't he? Let's look at the stats in a sec. We've got Dalton Varsho. Might be a short print, and we got a relic here. That's Carlos Correa. So Astros edition back then. Oh, he's on the IL. Back in 2021, that'll go to Junior and the Astros. draft some of you know that our uh, that our colleague Thomas who worked at Jaspies for a long time and still does some part-time work in the off season when he's not in school um, got a chance to be drafted so we'll see not, I don't think he's going to be a first-round pick. But he says that he's got some got some phone calls from some teams, and he definitely would be happy to be a second- or third-day guy. Which would be awesome. Maybe we'll find him in some Bowman Draft products at some point. Christian Yelich to 99 for the Brewers. That's going to be for Ryan. Got 
Yadier Molina. That'll be for uh, Chris Parent and the Cardinals. Drafts are always fun because it's always a, you know, get an idea of who we're going to see in future products. Is coming up. An old iron on patch. And that's Dylan Carlson. And that is George Brett. These are pretty fun. That's going to go to Nestor and the Royals. It's still in Carlson was flipped around. It might be a variation. This is going to go to the Cardinals. Chris Parent with the cards. I guess this, these will just randomize to one person. Kershaw. Yeah, nice World Series highlight. Oh, and there's the auto. There's the uh, Eduardo Escobar. To 299. That'll be for Nestor in Arizona, and the auto is Dane Dunning. Dun 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 dun. That's gonna be for the White Sox. Michael. Slider, a lot of people like the curveball as well. That's another plus 
pitch. It's a real success story of the pitching lineup that the Cuban Indians had. 191 strikeouts and 100 innings pitched. It's real ace level upside uh, for Chase Burns. Then you look at Nick Kurtz, their first baseman. He's fallen back a little bit in the drafts. It's still a strong hit. It's a facsimile autograph that Hank Aaron. When you're quickly rolling through, you're just like, whoa, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> like the reaction. And we've got uh, Francisco Mejia, 1155 out of 2021, going to the Padres. That's going to go to Josh. We got a Astros relic. That's Nolan Ryan, one out of 25. Nice. going to be for Junior in Houston. We got Luis Robert. White Sox, Michael. All right, halfway through the case. 30 minutes to go. What's going on? Has Rex? No, Rex. Rex is not checked in today. He has not wished me. A, does he do it every year? I didn't realize that. Yeah. It's, is it is Bobby Bonilla Day? I, I 
I feel like no one's really said anything about Bobby Bonilla Day. I guess there was a little article about it on, on ESPN today. I think they just repost the article from like last year. Let's learn about James Wood. He is born on a, on my birthday. He has my birthday, September 17th. Not the same year, though. Um, but he grew up in Olney, Maryland. O-L-N-E-Y, like Buster Olney, Maryland. And initially attended St. John's College High School in Washington, D.C. Maybe he grew up a Nationals fan, or Orioles, maybe, where he played baseball and basketball. Transferred to IMG in Bradenton, Florida after his sophomore season, giving up basketball in order to so focus solely on baseball. And he committed to play college baseball at Mississippi State before transferring to IMG. And after a strong performance while playing in the 2020 Area Code Games, Wood entered his senior year as a top prospect in the 2021 MLB draft. He batted 258 as a senior, causing him to fall slightly in most draft prospect rankings. And then he was selected in the second round. In that 2021 draft, got a $2.6 million signing bonus. The slot recommendation was 1.1, so they gave him a lot of dollars. Here's Blake Snell, Rays edition. A little uh, commemorative cap logo patch. MLB spring training going to be for Stephen K and the Rays. Only is a country? Could be a, oh, or you mean county? Yeah, I guess he was born in the city that the county's named after. Here's a Mike Trout to 99 with that sort of paper back instead of the glossy one. That'll be for Matthew. Yeah, is it in the sticks? Played his way out of the sticks. And now he's in the show. Remember these uh, history of tops cards we're all gonna we're all gonna save and collect as one lot and one person in the break will get it. Uh, this is a chase the mantle break, so that'll that'll be we'll put that as the consolation prize. Um, spot two, we'll get those extra history of the tops cards. There's Bobby Dalbit, nice rookie auto for the Red Sox. It's going to be for Eric Houston. There you go, Eric. Nice. Facsimile autograph. It's Bobby Dalbeck doing this season. What's up, Paul? Yeah, I didn't realize how tall James Wood is. He's, I don't know if you ever heard on the broadcast, but he's like Aaron Judge's height. Nice. We're in San Diego area. It's Patrick Corbin to 2021. My old, uh, old, uni, old uni stomping grounds. 
I often visit some friends down there every once in a while. Here is Nationals team card right here. That's 80 out of 499. That's for Eric. By Tory Pines. I know where that is. That's right near my university, UC San Diego, perched on top of a hill in uh, North La Jolla, just a few moments south of Tory Pines Golf Course, on the way to Del Mar. We got a Corey Seager relic, still a Dodger back in 2021. 55 out of 199. Nice, the Serena Valley area, excellent. I like, I, oftentimes I like taking the, the train when I go down there, the Amtrak Surfliner. Goes from downtown LA right to downtown San Diego. Beautiful trip. Hugs the coast, as you would imagine. There's uh, Anderson Tejada to 2021. So there is a section, I think, near the Sereno Valley area where the train goes from the coast and turns inland and then curls back. They're trying to straighten that path out by going through some of the mountains there. Trying to blast a hole through that valley and try to lay some sort of straighter track down so the train can kind of go un uninterrupted at speed. That might save like 30 minutes on the, uh, on the trip in total. But then everyone's arguing who's going to pay for it. How much does the city put in? How much does the county put in? How much does the state put in? How much does Amtrak put in? But it's a pleasant, pleasant train ride down there. About the time it would take to drive. I've made a little tiny bit longer, but you're not actually driving, which is the benefit. You can take a nap, read a book. Enjoy the scenery. There's Francisco Lindor. Cleveland edition. That's going to be for Justin. All right, two more boxes to go. What do you have planned for uh, for the 4th of July? I guess this is for 4th of July, right? The great fireworks show in San Diego. One of the best in California, maybe the nation. I think they often do like three, a few concurrent Fireworks shows at the same time. John is in Oceanside and works for the for the tr the trains that pass through Torrey Pines. Are you work for Amtrak? Do you work for a, uh, a transportation company? Tripping, tripping company. I'm an advocate of the train. I'm an advocate of train lines. I wish that was more of a thing in the United States. I'm a big believer in light rail.
I know firework competition exists. Is it always in Montreal though? In California finally uh, approved the connection of like we're trying to build a high speed rail basically that goes through uh, goes from LA all the way to I guess ostensibly if you take the Amtrak from San Diego to LA you can take the high speed rail from LA to San Francisco right now I think the train that train line is only built like if if this was California if this card was California I think it only or actually if San Francisco was up here LA was down here I think only that middle part is actually done now they're going to stretch it out and finally build those last connectors yeah a lot more a lot more efficient than a bus train sounds a lot cooler light rail sounds a lot cooler hey nice uh, dodger spring training relic here clayton kershaw that's going to be for eric houston oh the you are the North County Transit District, I think that, that is. I went to school at UC San Diego. You guys own the rails from OC to San Diego, the coaster. Well, that's out of 10. That was the height of the Yankees and Red Sox rivalry. The coaster is great. A couple summers ago, I took the, uh, took the Amtrak down to San Diego to visit my friend. And then took the uh, took the coaster up to the uh, the, uh, the fairgrounds to go to the to go to the San Diego County Fair. Had a great efficient shuttle system that took you from from the train station to the fairgrounds. That was really nice. Definitely great. I feel like I feel like everyone uses it. And the and the trolley system in San Diego, everyone uses that. Wish more people used uh, use the rail system out here in LA. There's Teoscar Hernandez, Blue Jays. It's been a great addition for my Dodgers. This is going to go to Kevin and the Blue Jays. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of it. The Amtrak down there is also really easy. Saves the headache of driving. I always enjoy it being on the train and driving by all this like traffic down the five freeway and I'm like laughing at those those suckers <laughs> Bo Burrows Nestor and the Tigers Yeah, I don't know where I'm sure I'm sure there's been books written about why why public transportation hasn't maybe we're too car car culture. We got more open space, I guess. So you know, I think in Europe things are so dense, the cities are so densely packed together that kind of have to. It's like New New York, and kind of have to use public transportation. But even like. A national train system, like Europe, I think, has some sort of train system that could whisk you across Europe without having to take a take a flight. Joey Votto, and here is Dylan Carlson to 2021. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe maybe not in our lifetime. I'd like Amtrak was a thing back back in the day though. But I feel like just that hasn't been a lot of use like for example, I can't take a train from LA to Phoenix. You would think there used to be a train line that goes from LA to Phoenix, but that doesn't happen. But I guess there's this company called Brightline. I think they built a train line in Florida that goes from Orlando to Miami. I feel like that's been pretty popular. Here's Ozzy Albies to 199. And they finally got approval to break ground to build to build a, a train line from from LA to Vegas finally. I don't know when there it's they say like 5 years which sounds ambitious. I don't know if you can take one to Tucson, but I feel like, you know, I don't know. But it's kind of tricky because, like, I could take a train to Seattle from L.A., which apparently is a really beautiful train ride, but it's, like, kind of cost prohibitive, and it takes a lot of time. So I guess if I was retired... You know, I could take the two or three, the, the two nights it takes to get to Seattle and pay like the 500 some odd dollars for it. More, I, you know, get like a $300 plane ticket and then get there in three hours. So it gets a little tricky. But I hope that train line to Vegas turns out to be kind of cool. I still think it's going to be on the pricier side. But I mean, in terms of like to be able to not drive, not use gas, not put wear and tear on my car. Here's a Joey Votto, and then, you know, you could, you could drink on the train. <laughs> really, Tucson has a famous train station. I gotta check that out. San Diego has a pretty famous, the Santa Fe station in San Diego is pretty popular, or pretty famous. LA Union Station in downtown LA. Still got some some uh, some nice infrastructure there. Here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Poor Ronald. Hopefully his knees are gonna be okay. Matthew with the Braves. No, uh, Elon wanted to build. No, the train that goes from LA to Vegas is not an Elon project. There's a company in Florida that, that kind of had some success with with uh, going through some part of the Florida corridor to connect some cities. No, Elon wanted to build um, tunnels. Yeah, right. He wanted to build tunnels in Vegas. That's exactly what it is. All right, that's... Uh, Yoan Mankata for the White Sox. That's going to go to Michael. He wanted to build one here in LA too. He's, I think he has actually built some tunnels to test, but I, I don't know how, how far it's gotten. But he wants to build an underground tunnel that would, that would, that would allow cars, for example, to go from like Santa Monica to Dodger Stadium or something like that to like kind of you know, take you across town. And it's, and from what I understand, it started off having a couple different iterations. I think the first one was gonna be a, it would be like a, like a cart on train tracks and your car would, would, would drive on it, sit on there, and then it, the thing would whisk you away through the tunnel to get to where you need to be. So for a long time, I think that was the plan. It puts you on a platform on rails and it would shoot you through the tunnel and it would, it would be like, and he, he wanted to be like a loop. It would take you to a couple different sections of the city, blah, blah, blah. But I think that plans change I, because that would allow, which, which I think cities were intrigued by this because that would allow any car to go through it. But then it slowly turned into only Teslas can go through there. And then it turned into, we're not using that platform and we're just gonna use, we're gonna combine like Tesla auto driving technology with technology in the, in the tunnel 
to get you to, from place to place. And at that point, the cities, cities were like, like Vegas and LA were like, well, you know, how many percent of the population, even in LA, how many percent of the population own a Tesla? Like not a lot. So it would seem like a lot of work for a very small amount of cars to get from place to place. Which of course just ends up being like trying to sell more Teslas because you can use this like exclusive tunnel. But that doesn't really help alleviate too much, that much traffic. And I think, um, I think he, want, he wanted to do the same thing in Vegas where he would create a loop that would go from like south of the strip to north of the strip or something like that. And so, yeah, it's just kind of, and I don't know, now he's, now he's worried about, now he's trying to fix Twitter and he's sending stuff to space. So I don't know if that's really high on, on his priority list. But I, he hasn't shuttered the project, so I think it still exists. Here's Shane Bieber. The manufactured patch that's going to go to Justin and the Guardians. 33 out of 299. Cleveland, this is for you. Last box, boys and girls. Yeah, and then he into yeah, then I don't know what he's doing with t Twitter, which is now X, and now, not that social media is, you know, is a place of nuance and understanding, but I think he's kind of made that even more that area even more toxic and just kind of screwed it up. It's twenty twenty one Dylan Bundy. I feel like Twitter kind of still works for sports to me, for me anyway. Um, but I feel like, I feel like I used to use it more for like social stuff and now I, just, I don't even use it. I guess most people use Instagram now or TikTok. Well, Are you serious? Mm -hmm. For what's, under what terms? Free, as a free agent? Or a sign and trade? I'm not sure if Derek or Derek Rose, Demar Derozan takes this over the over the hump, but it'd be a fun team to watch. A fun team to watch, I guess. No one does really. You got Demar Derozan and Lori Markinen, and still kept Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura. Maybe that would help. There's Edward Olivares, our last auto of the break. That's for Kansas City. That is for Nestor. What is that? The auto. Oh. What year is that? What year is that card? 2002. Oh, then he, he's still he's not old then. I was gonna say sometimes the older older guys as they get older their yeah, autos get a little shaky. Well, but if it's 2002, Sandy Kovac he must have been like signing in a car in a moving vehicle or something like that he, while he was like driving. He was doing it on the team bus to like go to spring training. That's what I'm saying. He was on he was on the team bus. He's going to, going to do some some like backfield coaching in minor leagues. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was still pitching in 2002. Sorry, everyone's here. Man, Matt Duchesne was just gave him just Tommy John right now and then just fix him up. There's Justin Dunn to 499 Mariners. Thank you for sharing your story, Anthony. It's an inspiration to everyone who's been affected by cancer. To share your story, Anthony, it's an inspiration to everyone who's been affected by cancer. To share your And the last stack of this last jumbo box. Thanks, everybody. We pulled the auto. We pulled a relic. We're looking for one more relic, and then we're done. We got this card flipped around. Casey Mize. That might be a variation. It's a rookie card going to Nestor and the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. Tiger.
Liberty, liberty, liberty. So do you want to do Marcus Russell patch card? It's your Marcus Russell? Uh-huh. Patch card? You hear what happened to him recently? No. He got fired from like his high school coaching job or something like that. I think he he was given like I don't, I, I don't know what happened. There was like a it was, just, it was a it was an odd story. He took high school's donation money. <laughs> he was a volunteer assistant coach. He took a $74,000 check that was supposed to be a donation to the high school. The owner of a local building company said he'd been approached by a road, said a donation, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't know why you would give him the money. Why would you give him the check? He cashed the check and then took $50,000 out of it. I mean, maybe that might not have been the smartest move. The owner of a local building company said he had been approached by Russell, who said a donation would help the football team buy equipment for their, rate, uh, for their uh, weight room. So then this local business guy gave Jamarcus Russell the, the check. Why don't you give the school the check? I guess he, was, I guess he just trusted Jamarcus. Miguel Cabrera Relic will go to the Tigers. That'll be for Nestor. <laughs> That's all right. Put it in my name. It's okay. Here is a uh, Jerkson Profar, 77 out of 199. That's going to go to Josh and the Padres. Canada's independence from whom? Aren't they still affiliated? Aren't they still a commonwealth of... I don't know my Canada history, I guess. I thought there was still a commonwealth of the uh, of England. So how independent are they? All right. Uh, oh, extra stuff. Anybody with stronger knowledge of Canadian history, definitely let me know. Or maybe it was more of a peaceful independence where they're like, yeah, you're not, you don't pay taxes to the Queen anymore. They're like, great, thanks. I guess like when, when England gave up all the, all those colonies too. All right, and we close out with a Juan Soto. That's for Eric Houston, Nationals edition. All right, and that is that, my friends. Nice little break here. Thanks, everybody, for making it happen. We'll do a quick recap in a second. We're going to give away the Chase the Mantle spot. Let's flip over here. Let's gather all your names, 1 through 30. New dice, new list. As I said, the second name down, top name will get the Chase the Mantle spot. The second name will get these extra cards, these little... Uh, History of Tops cards. Let's flip back over here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a three. Seven times. Name on top. Chasing the mantle. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four. And then three more times. Five, six, and seventh and final time. Now... Sad times for all these people right here, 2 through 30. Junior, very close to that top spot. You look at those history of tops cards, but 2 through 30, thanks. Appreciate you. But there can be only one winner, and that's going to be Kevin. Kevin Miyakawa. 
you are chasing the mantle. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here's the recap for this Series 1 break. Some nice patches, some nice autos, some cool stuff. I think that Kershaw was to 10. It's a nice low number. And Nolan Ryan was to 25. That was a low number as well. Thicker card. I like those little, little like, fabric patches that they're throwing in there as well. So those are also fun. We had that one of one Fernando Tatis Jr. plate. This turned out to be a pretty nice break. Tons of parallels right here to top load and sort out and send out to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. There you go, Kevin. Congrats. Thanks, everybody. I'll see everyone next time for the next one. Bye-bye.